in this modern world that we live in, a lot of us are very busy and very stressed. And the thing that gets often neglected is sleep. So it begs the question, why do we need sleep anyway? Surely I can just keep soldiering on, um, keep chipping away at that to-do list or watch that extra episode on Netflix. So it's really good, I guess, before we dive into improving your sleep to understand why. What's the benefits uh, and what's the costs of not having a good night's sleep? So this is what um, I've put together in this little video. So problem solving is the first thing to discuss. So there's an amazing analogy, which is really cool to think um, all through the day, the eyes are recording. So like your camcorder on the shoulder, um, just taking in information and data um, into the brain. So mainly the eyes, but all through, through the other senses as well. It's not until we go to sleep that the brain can edit that information. So it goes through a process whilst we're sleeping, filing and sorting out all the data, important, not important. How do I deal with that problem? What do I do next? Um, and that's where that great uh, expression uh, I'll sleep on it comes from and it's true like sometimes you have a dilemma during the day you sort of just can't really suss it out you wake up in the morning you think oh I know the answer or I know the next step and uh, it always become a bit clearer so um, problem solving and it's really important obviously skill for a lot of people in their jobs as well a lot of people have complex jobs that require problem solving um, staying up late at night might not be the best thing for working through those problems um, actually getting a good night of sleep uh, is could be the best thing for, for you from a work perspective too. So uh, that's the first one. Neuroplasticity, um, something that we talk a lot about as a health coach is trying to strengthen neural pathways and, and reshape and reform the brain essentially. Uh, and the way we do that is by introducing new experiences during the day, uh, new learnings, new habits. That strengthening process happens at night when we're sleeping so uh, i wish i'd known this when i was going through all my exams that late night cramming uh, into little sleep not not optimal not the best thing uh, for your learning um, and consolidating what you've you've done through the day so you're better off having a full night of sleep let your brain um, strengthen pathways and, and um, consolidate the learning in that sense so this is the same if any new habit that you want to form you know, whether it's um, to do with your health and well-being or whether it's um, managing stress, relationships, anything like that. Um, need the new experience, but need the new, um, need the sleep to consolidate. So that's a really interesting part. Growth repair and waste removal um, to do with the cells in your body um, in that we, we need sleep to, to repair and grow, whether it's just normal day-to-day -day function, immune system, um, if you're exercising hard and there's that repair of, of muscles as well, um, all happens when we sleep. So really, really important for our health and overall health and especially when we age, um, getting that sleep as well, providing um, you know, repair and, and trying to fight off, fight off uh, illness. Waste removal is a really interesting one. I'll speak about adenosine in, in some of the other videos, uh, but adenosine builds up in our brain throughout the day. It's what makes us feel sleepy. Um, it's, a, it's a waste product of, of energy. Um, so especially if we're just throughout the day, day-to-day -day stuff as well as exercise. Uh, the, one, the way we get rid of adenosine from the rain is through sleep. So it builds up, builds up, builds up. The only way you can get rid of it is to sleep. Um, washes it out like a dishwasher and hopefully you wake up in the morning feeling pretty fresh. If you wake up in the morning feeling groggy and tired, probably because you haven't had either enough sleep or enough good quality sleep, to, to wash it out, you've still got residual left over um, in the in the brain, and that's and that's a, I guess a cycle that a lot of people get stuck in, because then you go right coffee, sugary food, no chance I'm exercising today, um, and then all of a sudden you know you, you realise you've had years of poor quality sleep, poor food, very inactive, um, so you can see why sleep is the sort of foundation of health, uh, because if you can get that right, then you're more likely to move your body the next day, uh, and you'll your food decisions would be a lot better too. Uh, lack of sleep. Lack of sleep is, uh, yeah, something something for us to consider in terms of what happens when you don't get enough sleep. I think I've spoken about a few things already, but mood is the big one. Um, you'll know it from yourself or 
your close, your close friends and family, whatever, colleagues, if they haven't had a good night of sleep, we all know about it. It's never a positive thing. So mood's a big one. Um, who wants to be in a crap mood? Like there's no one, I don't think I've ever met anyone that wants to be in a crap mood. Um, energy, if we wake up feeling, feeling like we haven't had enough sleep, we're sending messages to the brain. We're sending messages to the brain saying, hey, be, you know, let's conserve energy today because we haven't, we haven't had a proper night's sleep. So you're not gonna be at your best. Um, like I say, you're not gonna exercise as much. Um, and you know, decision making, your your human uh, human to human connection, everything's just down down to less not not yourself. So, um, diet's a big one. Leptin and ghrelin, the hormones responsible for uh, making us feel full and feel hungry, they're out of whack and out of balance. Um, and when that happens, then we're more likely to overeat. Um, because we're just we're not getting the right signals at the right time, or we're choosing the wrong the wrong sort of foods um, to promote a you know, healthy lifestyle. So, um, mental health is probably the other one. It's it's such a big thing when it comes to mental health. We all know the stats, and it's on our radar. And we've created a lot of awareness now around around the importance of mental health. But sleep is huge. Obviously, if you're going through a tough time and you're stressed um, and anxious. It's going to be hard to sleep. Um, that's that's the truth. So um, it's not going to be as simple as me saying, "Hey, get to sleep." But it's something to be aware of. That for your mental health, you definitely need um, to be sleeping well. Uh, I think that's about it, guys. Long term health. Obviously, most major diseases um, in the Western world are associated with with the lack of sleep over time. Um, so. It not only impacts us in the short term, but, but in the long term. Hope this has been helpful, not too scary, uh, but it's really important for us to have this discussion. Speak to you soon.